Mission Commander Frederick Hauk, 47 years old, a veteran of two previous shuttle missions. Hauk spent 16 years as a Navy fighter pilot, flying 114 missions over Vietnam. In 1972, he was named the Navy's top test pilot. Hauk lives in Winchester, Massachusetts, spending his spare time tinkering around the house and rebuilding old cars. NASA has made hundreds of safety changes on Discovery since a leaking O-ring seal led, led to the Challenger disaster. And here to tell us about some of those improvements is astronaut Jeff Hoffman. Good morning. Morning. Before we get into this, I've just noticed over my shoulder over there that the clock has started up again. We were at T minus three hours in holding. That's a nice thing to see. That's that a good sign. Again. All right. Well, well, we'll keep an eye on that and keep you posted for the latest from NASA. What it means is that we're going to be ready to go. If the weather's ready, NASA will be ready. All righty. And the shuttle we believe is ready. I think so. All right, the big thing was O-rings. What are the changes in the O-rings? Well, uh, I should remind you, by the way, that the O-rings are just one of the things we've changed mm -hmm. with the boosters. These boosters, producing about over two million pounds of, of thrust, um, have to have some way of keeping the fire inside and just making sure it comes out the back. Mm -hmm. That's what the O-rings are for. This is the old design. Uh, the, which is the outside, which is this the This is the outside, okay. the inside, two O-rings in the mm -hmm. old design, and what happened with the accident was that the flames leaked past the O-rings, came around the metal, came outside with the disastrous consequences we know about. All right, and here's the new design. Right, and you notice that the two main things that have changed that you can see are that, first of all, we have added a third O-ring, and then we have this flange of metal which comes over to make sure that the O-rings are pressed tightly against the surfaces. There are many other changes in the insulation, in, in some of the external features, but in a word, that's what we've done to the O-rings. Okay. The second real major change is there is now an escape mechanism from the actual orbiter itself. The side hatch we now have the ability to blow off explosively, mm -hmm. and we have a system that will allow the crew to jump out with parachutes. They're wearing full pressure suits now, just like high altitude jet pilots. It's important to be very clear just what this system will and won't do. It is not a full ejection system. It does not protect us in the case of a launch emergency, but it does allow us uh, in a situation of stable controlled flight where we cannot make it back to a runway, mm. and previously our only alternative was to ditch in the ocean, which right. is not a very nice alternative. At 200 miles an hour. That's right. Now you can jump out and, and you'll lose the shuttle, but at least the crew will survive. And this would not have helped the Challenger Austria. It is not designed to handle a situation like that. No. All right, the motors on the back of this orbiter are the most sophisticated, most powerful motors doing anything anywhere on the Earth right now. What's the big change in that? We have made many changes, and, and I should be real clear that we think that the, the motors were perfectly capable of flying safely before the accident, but nevertheless, there were many things that were identified. I'd say probably the most important changes have been in the pumps. To drag the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen at temperatures of hundreds of degrees below zero into the engines require pumps that produce an excess of 50,000 horsepower just to pump in the fuel. Mm -hmm. We spin turbine blades uh, at many tens of thousands of RPM. If any one of those blades should crack off, it would be catastrophic. And we have done some major improvements to that whole system to make these engines even safer than they were before. And we should just emphasize, the, the, we're just talking about three major giant changes. There have literally been thousands of modifications and changes through the whole system. Just That's right. Jeff Hoffman, thank you very much. Been a pleasure. It. it is 17 minutes before the hour. Next, Robert Krolwich. It's not just big business that has an interest in space.